Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. <laughs> With Cal Schweel. What a specimen. And Joel Nelson. Whoa, this is an absolute monster. <laughs> This is In-Depth Outdoors. Good morning, everyone. James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors, and our season has taken us into ice fishing overtime. Uh, as everybody knows, we got a lot of unseasonable weather earlier in March, destroyed the ice across most of the ice belt, but that's not the case up here in northern Minnesota and just across the border into Ontario. So I'll be fishing with good buddy and In-Depth Outdoors pro staffer Pat McSherry today, and uh, we've got uh, some decisions to make. Up here on Lake of the Woods, We've got great lake trout fishing, fantastic pike fishing, and huge walleye. So where do we want to start? I think right away in the morning, it's lake trout for sure, man. I mean, we got walleye is going to be good this afternoon, pike will be good in the afternoon, trout definitely shines in the, in the morning, so. I could not agree more. We're going to be hitting a couple species today, so do stick around. It's Pat McSherry and I on Lake of the Woods out of Crawford's camp today on In-Depth Outdoors. You know, the conditions here today are just indicative of how our uh, entire season has gone. Uh, yesterday, when we left the Twin Cities, that was the 3rd of April, it was 70 degrees. Last night, the uh, overnight lows up here in Sioux Narrows were in the single digits. Uh, with, their, with the good ice up here and the great bite that we've been hearing about, it just made sense to just uh, stop fighting it, uh, embrace the procrastination. Uh, we didn't put our ice fishing and gear away. It was just sitting there staring at us, so we decided to put it into use. I think Pat's gonna fish a, a jig with a, a big plastic. And I'm gonna use kind of a bigger, larger profile spoon. That's a tingler spoon that's in a perch pattern. And it's got a silver back to it. Just lots of flash and kind of a real slow fluttering fall like a dying bait fish. And uh, one thing about these lake trout, uh, their eyesight's great. The water clarity up here on whitefish bait is fantastic. So they'll come from a long ways off to eat these baits. Fish on. Nice. Good one? Yeah. Well, they're all good. <laughs> I like them all. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's a stalemate. Haven't gained a lot of room on him. No. He did the up and down with me three times. That's that tingler, right? That's that tingler. Right. Yep. These fish. No question about it. They're my favorite. Oh, yeah. You can't beat them. The only people that don't like them, just they just don't have them within six hours drive. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's awesome about this fish is your average fish, you know, that five, six, seven, eight pounder will just kick your butt. Right. And then every once in a while you get that Kong that I mean just blows your mind. Mm -hmm. Boy, I tell you what, if we can uh, get a uh, half dozen eight of these on the ice and then go fish for, you know what we gotta do? I love to catch walleye. Trophy potential up here for the walleye is fantastic, but we should probably try to catch some pike. Yeah. Because we have not caught pike all winter long. No, haven't, we haven't. We haven't tried. No, nope, haven't even tried. And you know me, that's one of my favorite things to do too in the spring. It's pretty much a one-two for you. Yeah. You've got your uh, lake trout number one, and then you got the big pike number two. <laughs> Might not be a bad fish. I promise you, I'm giving him the beans, you know, within <laughs> reason. I don't think he's a giant, but like I said, you get that athletic, you know, eight, 10 pounder. Yeah. They can just fight outside their weight class. Oh yeah, they can fool you. Well, back in January, we had a couple of those where it's just like, we expected to see a 12, 15 pound fish pop up and mm -hmm. it ended up being, you know, that six or eight pounder that was just middle linebacker tough. Oh yeah. Come on. I can feel his tail just strumming the line. You know, he's facing down with that line going up alongside of his body and his tail is just whacking it. <laughs> what do you have about a six foot floral yeah, leader? About on? a six foot floral leader. Uh, I think it's 12 pound. 
Come on, fish. Oh. Real nice fish. You know, mid-winter, you come up and you try to catch these Lakers, January, February. It can be a bit of a trail of tears with the conditions. You know, how cold it can be. This time of year is the time when you really want to be out here chasing them. There we go. Right That's in the snow. Nice Thank you. <laughs> You're not even making me get my hands wet. Well, maybe, maybe I got to touch it. Oh, yeah. Got them? All yeah. right. Wait. Yeah. Super and that's nice. one of those long lean ones where mm -hmm. they are just strong, yep. built for speed. And look where that hook placement was. Yep, right just the... right in the tippy top of the snoot there. That spoon is just barely stuck. Boop, that's all it was. All right, that's the way to start the day, man. Right there. Yeah. Look at that thing. That's a long lean fish. Mm -hmm. Built for speed. All right. Thanks for the assist. I will return the favor. Absolutely. Nearly 70 years ago, a simple idea was taking form in the heart of the ice belt. That idea was, if you combined a commitment to quality with a passion for the sport of ice fishing, you could build a better ice auger. From that idea, StrikeMaster was born. Forever committed to innovation in the quest to build a lighter, more durable auger. StrikeMaster, powerful, durable, reliable. The WX2060 and the MX2040 from Skeeter Boats. Loaded with a long list of standard features anglers want at an unbeatable price, including a Yamaha VMAX SHO 250 horsepower outboard, Yamaha T9.9 .9 kicker with remote controls, Lowrance HDS12 Gen 3 touch at the dash, and a Minn Kota 112 Ultera on the bow. The WX2060 priced at $59,995. The new MX2040 priced at $58,995. More comfort, more standard features. When you move up to a WX2060 or MX2040, you get more of everything. BMC's dominating line of panfish baits just got even better. With the introduction of new baits molded from high-density tungsten, the Miracle Metal that offers the same weight as traditional lead at half the size. The platoon of new baits include the Tungsten Fly, fast-thinking BMC Nymph and Waxtail soft baits pre-rigged on BMC tungsten jigs, and the innovative tungsten chandelier jig that targets roaming panfish like a fish-seeking missile. The next time you hit the ice, tie on a tungsten, and you'll be fishing fast and taking names with BMC. Oh, just nosed it, you dirty dog, you. Oh. Get him. Oh, fish. That's one of those uh, off the bottom there, Pat. I don't think he's going to be very big. Well, you never know. Nah. I don't want to totally discount him or anything, but. You getting close? He's right there. Oh, I got one working too. He might be on your own. There he is. Oh, well, he made me earn it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit smaller fish. Still tons of fun. Oh, yeah. Back he goes. Thank you, Mr. Nick Choate. Not the biggest fish we're gonna catch today, obviously, but still a ton of fun. Nice fish, man. I had one come right off the bottom like that too, but he just snubbed me. He didn't quite go, go the full length. The ones that come in, you know, 15 feet off the bottom, they are just wired. They yep. hit like right away. And those ones on the bottom, I've had probably three, four of them and only one's hit. Yeah. I'm gonna move holes, Pat. I think uh, someone needs to fish this one behind you. Yeah. Forty-six foot. Same, same. Fish. <laughs> How does it feel? Good. <laughs> All good. It always feels good. You know what? I can see him down there. He's about halfway down. I'm all for, you know, <laughs> focusing and paying attention and, you know, fishing as well as a guy can fish, but there's mm -hmm. just something about doing one of these and going <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of extra special nice. Yeah, you're hardly going to get that with any <laughs> other species, that's for sure. This fish is just throwing some wicked head shakes. Yeah. This is not a bad fish either, though. Yeah, I could tell by the head shakes. He was really throwing around. He was a solid, solid fish. I haven't had that big secondary run yet. It's like he's... 
<laughs> on cue. You know, we film every Monday and Tuesday just about all of our shows, and so much of our being able to stay on bites is taking a look at that weather, knowing what that weather's gonna do to bites in the area that we're kind of watching. If we were out in a boat right now with those lows last night in the teens mm -hmm. on a river somewhere, yeah. we would be struggling. Yeah. No, I am perfectly content with where we're at right now. This fish, yep, he was way out to the side. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Get up underneath. Got it. Nice. Yeah. Perfect hook set. Got those little barbless hook points on there, so really easy to get them out. Mm -hmm. That fish is going nowhere, right up underneath that beak there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate the help, Pat. Absolutely. See you later. Ooh, way up tall, way up tall like that. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> that Sweet. was cool. Woo! <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Yeah, I thought he was gone. I didn't see anything on the screen. He must have just turned right around and come right back. <laughs> that how, was cool. How high up was he? 20 foot. 20 foot? Yeah, I'm sitting in 60 foot of water. I was fishing at the bottom and just, just saw just a flicker at mm -hmm. 20, cranked up, and by the time I got there, that flicker was gone, but he must have just turned right around and smoked it. Awesome. I can't believe, uh, I can't believe how, uh, how nice it's gotten out here. It's... <laughs> There's your one more run. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might go fish that hole right there. I think maybe. <laughs> Probably not an overly bad idea. No. Here's the leader. Should be close. Oh. Yeah, he's a little bit smaller. Oh, that spoon just pop out? Yep. What a guy. <laughs> Double points for that one. <laughs> he's a yeah. speed demon. Yeah. He wasn't that big of a fish. Just yeah. crazy fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a huge one, but I super appreciate nice. the assist. All right, well, we're getting all kinds of age classes here. Thank you. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> he come back. Man, these fish are aggressive. Nuts. Come here, fish. He hasn't made his big run yet. I don't know if he's going to or not. There's my leader. Feels like he's bigger than that last one. Got another one, huh? Yeah, it's been a good hole, man. Two drops in a row. <laughs> Both of them have fired up off the bottom. That's awesome. Looks like he's right here. He is right there. Oh, that's a nice one, too. If I can just get him. Perfect. Off. Yes. <laughs> there oh, we go. There's a fatty. Nice fish. Thank you. Heck yeah. You know what we should do? We really need to be thinking about transitioning off these Lakers. I mean, they're a ton of fun. But uh, we came up here to see how many species we can get on the ice in a day. I don't think we've got time to do a one day shoot and get three species, but we can certainly go for some walleyes or pike. Absolutely. So it's going to be walleyes or pike. Let's do pike, man. All right. Let me see this guy. All right. Yeah, you definitely schooled me on the spoon today. That was the hot, the hot bait. It'll go one way or the other. You know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Munched it. Get that thing loose. That's a nice fish. Mm-hmm. Great average size. And that spoon in there deep, but no worse for the wear. No. Nope. All right. My big fingers are cutting that pliers there. All right, what say you? Let that fish go and head off and get ourselves a northern pike? Absolutely. All right, perfect. Ah, they're cool. Very pretty fish. Mm -hmm. All right, see you later, Laker. Oh, yeah, he wants to go. Bye bye. All right. Ah, I just love seeing those big tails flapping as they go down the hole. Mm -hmm, that's cool stuff. If we didn't catch another fish, we've had a good day. Absolutely. Let's go see if we can get some big pike on the ice. Let's do it, man. Let's get a big one. All right. At Markham, we know being the leader in ice sonar performance doesn't mean we get to rest on our laurels. Introducing the new iSeries line of flashers. Every model in our new iSeries line combines a bright and vivid display with Markham's advanced sonar technology to produce flasher sonar units that offer a larger display and increased viewing angles without compromising Markham's legendary sonar performance. This winter, don't settle for anything less than an iSeries flasher from Markham, the most powerful high-performance flasher sonar units ever built.
VMC's dominating line of panfish baits just got even better. With the introduction of new baits molded from high-density tungsten, the Miracle Metal that offers the same weight as traditional lead at half the size. The platoon of new baits include the Tungsten Fly, fast-sinking VMC Nymph and Waxtail soft baits pre-rigged on VMC tungsten jigs, and the innovative Tungsten Chandelier Jig that targets roaming panfish like a fish-seeking missile. The next time you hit the ice, tie on a tungsten, and you'll be fishing fast and taking names with VMC. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods. Ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. So what we're gonna do now, um, now that we finished up with those lake trout, had a phenomenal morning, we are gonna get the trap set for what we hope to be some huge northern pike. So that'll be a combination of uh, iFish pros with quick strike rigs. We might throw out a couple tip up with quick strike rigs. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be fishing big dead bait. Uh, this is a technique that you pretty much live. If you're not lake trout fishing in the winter, you're doing this. Right, yep, two, probably two of my favorite things to do right there, big pike and lake trout. And so where we've relocated, we're off into a, uh, an arm of a bay. And if you look over here on the horizon, you can actually see some open water from a little creek coming in. It's a weedy bay, soft bottom. And these pike are coming back in here, getting ready to spawn. You know, they're probably a little early, my guess is. Get a few real warm days, get this ice to start to get really soft and break up a little bit, and those pike will push up real shallow, get in the flooded vegetation over here and spawn. Some of them might even run up in the creek. All we're really doing is just switching out tackle on the rods. We're just gonna use these lake trout rods and put the quick sets on them, put them on the iFish Pro, and that should work perfect. Should work just fine. All right, I'll get some iFish Pros. You grab bait and we'll start dropping them. All right. Jay, the flag. <laughs> Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice, man. Fish on. That fish just sunk to the bottom and just sat there. <laughs> well, the quick strike rigs still work just like the quick strike rigs work. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Woo, back reel, baby. There we go. Thought she was kind of stuck in the corner of the ice. This feels like a good fish. That's good, man. <sighs> yeah, she's circling the hole now, like a shark about ready to kill a seal pup. <laughs> Come here. Oh, I love this part. There's, There's the, the stop. bobber stop. Now the next, woo, I was going to say the next trick is don't get one of those hooks from the uh, quick strike rig stuck on the, wow, power. <laughs> awesome. All right, here it comes. Oh, yeah. I can, she was like whipping around in a circle so fast I couldn't even tell you how big it was. It's a nice fish. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Oh yeah. Here it comes. Look at this. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a beauty, man. I'll say. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we've got all these things set up all barbless here, so they should pop out real nice. Mm -hmm. That's that longer hook. Wow, what a fish. <laughs> Beautiful color. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a line mark there, but. Yeah, it's not much of a better thing to do out here in April than to be chasing flags. Agreed, agreed. I'm gonna grab a tool of beat. Let's uh, lock and reload, and there is nothing better than catching them on these iFish Pros. Just yep. love it. Everything about it. Fun stuff. Sweet fish. All right. She's fat. <laughs> Goodbye. 
Well, if we can take a fish like that every time, uh, trade one of those tula bees for a big pike, I'll do that. Heck yeah. Yeah, hook's in. If at there first you don't go. succeed, you just come <laughs> back and get him the third time, right? Yeah. <laughs> You've seen enough. <laughs> oh, it's a big fish. Is it? Its head's about that big around. <laughs> I mean, it could be bigger, right? Oh, it's not a bad one at all. No. When they come up that hole and their mouth's about as big as the hole, oh, that fish was going nowhere this time. How did no pike get swim backwards? That's fun, man. It's fun on these rods. Come here. All right. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Pat, Sweet. there's your gator, man. That's fun, man. Yeah, he was not going anywhere, and he did not take long to, to get that fish down. That right there is bad news for a tulipy. He's about sawed right in half. All right, you gonna go in and get it? Yep. Oh, there we go. I believe it's traditional that uh, the fish gets to keep the, the vittles, right? <laughs> Here you go, man. Yeah. You got him? Yep. She's got one more good spaz session in her, I'm sure. All right, well, fun stuff, man. We'll get this one back. Hopefully we can get another big one. <laughs> She's gonna make you bleed, bleed yet. Mm -hmm. Get a bigger one later on this evening. Fun. And she gets to keep her prize. <laughs> nice fish. That's cool in the sunlight, man. Boy, that first one got you pretty good there on the hand, didn't mm -hmm. it? Fair, right. fair. All right, well, I'll get you some bait and get back at it. This winner set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. Ideal for all species, iFish Pro is an innovative fishing system that allows an angler to use their favorite rod and reel instead of trying to manage the fish hand over hand. Oh, right Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip-up fishing. Look at that. Find iFish Pro online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. Everything you'd expect from a premium quality fish house and so much more. Glacier combines superior craftsmanship and premium quality materials to produce a comfortable and enjoyable mobile base camp for your next outdoor adventure. Available in a variety of models, a Glacier Ice House offers more standard features, more usable space, and a better fit and finish than the competition. Visit our website at GlacierIceHouse.com to find a dealer near you and see why a Glacier Fish House is the ultimate way to play. Nearly 70 years ago, a simple idea was taking form in the heart of the ice belt. That idea was, if you combined a commitment to quality with a passion for the sport of ice fishing, you could build a better ice auger. From that idea, StrikeMaster was born. Forever committed to innovation in the quest to build a lighter, more durable auger. StrikeMaster, powerful, durable, reliable. Right here. Sting him. Oh. oh yeah, she's there. Oh yeah, she's going, got it? Yep. Got her. Nice. Oh, heavy fish, heavy fish. I got my hands wrapped in the line, bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she feels good. I had a line caught in a groove in the ice. Oh yeah, going. nice fish. Can't get her back, here she comes, here she comes. Oh yeah, big girl, big girl. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> nice. Heck yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Phenomenal day up here. It's soon arrows. There we go. There we go. There's your fish, man. Thank you. Fork it over. She's heavy, man. We have had our share of some beautiful, beautiful pike here today to go with some fantastic lake trout fishing. I tell you what, Pat. I'm not sure how many of the more of these we're gonna to get to handle here today, but we've already had more than our fill. Very oh, lucky yeah. kids. Mm -hmm, for sure. So to say, I'll let her fire back. What a nice bike. It was definitely worth it to uh, hang up the trout gear and come and tie into a couple of these fish. Which it's is not, not easy to do. <laughs> Anybody doubting that fish's health at the release? <laughs> Rest assured. <laughs> wow. It's fun. Very cool. All right, well, uh, we're gonna run out of bait before yeah. we run out of sun, if it keeps going like this. Yeah, get her back set and get another one. Here we go. Get that thing out of there for you. Feel any movement? 
Yeah. Now he's there. Oh, yeah. Give him the beans. There you go. There we go. <laughs> What's the word? Doesn't feel too bad. Well, you know, we're getting kind of low on light here. We should probably make this the last fish. Mm-hmm. You know, we've had a great day. We don't need any more fish necessarily oh, yeah. to, to make this a fantastic day out here on the ice. Definitely has some weight. Just waiting for that big run. I got a feeling I'm about to get my hands really wet. <laughs> Good grief. It's one of those you end up having to pull back through a clump of weeds. <laughs> I did see there was some really good green vegetation too. Some of the baits dropped down to check the depth, pulled mm -hmm. back up. It's just really nice looking green weeds. Oh yeah. Here's the bobber stop. All right, here we go. It's Let's close. keep those hooks off the edge of that ice. Big fish, very nice, very nice. Here it comes, and yep, she picked up some veggies. Look at that. Come here. Uh, Look at that mouth. <laughs> oh, you don't want to get on the wrong end of that thing. No, that is a beauty. <laughs> There's Super your fish, nice. man. We're definitely gonna call her quits right there. All right. That is a fantastic place to end the day in our 2016 ice fishing mm -hmm. season. You know, phenomenal day of trout fishing. Um, that there is a cherry on top of a fantastic day with a good buddy. Uh, anytime you can get out on the ice, knock the heck out of a bunch of nice trout in the morning and then end like that, that's an awesome day. Mm -hmm. Even better to kind of end our ice fishing season that way. Right, yeah, it can't be better catching uh pike on tip up on last light it's awesome it's got a little bit a little bit of veggies there mm -hmm. now for those that regularly watch the show i'm sure you've noticed that we come up here to soon arrows out of crawford's camp it's been a couple times this winter there's a reason accommodations are great but the guys at crawford's camp matt and the rest of the guys that fish out of the camp they're fantastic with regards to sharing information we don't know this body of water as well as they do and they've really helped us get on some great fish as you can see so if you're interested in coming up to fish the sioux narrows area awesome walleye fishing great lake trout fishing and obviously amazing pike so give them a call they'll do you right so pat i'd shake your hand but you're <laughs> preoccupied so let yeah. that fish go let's get her back all right all what right. a slob and there she goes. Well done. Slime me up. Mm -hmm. All right, stuff. to everybody there at home, from Pat McSherry and I, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week, and we will be on open water somewhere. All right, let's get out of here. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.